welcome back to the workshop. Now I'm trying out some new bench dogs that got some interesting features. So I said I'd share it with you guys. So we're gonna have a, keep this video nice and short and sweet. These bench dogs are from Souter Shop. Now full disclosure before we get into this, these were sent to me, but I'm not being paid. This is not sponsored. I'm under no obligation whatsoever to even make a video or even speak about these, but they were sent to me. I didn't pay for them with my own money. So you guys should know that up front. So without further ado, let me show you what they're about. Okay, so what we're going to look at today is a set of bench dogs from Souter Shop, like I've said already. These come as part of a pack, so you get two big ones, two small ones, and four 8mm threaded knobs. And I'll show you what they are for now in a minute. Now, they're also quite unusual in the fact that they're double-ended, and again, I'll explain why that is in a minute. We also have a hole for uh, inserting a screwdriver or a bar for pulling them out of the worktop, which is nice and handy. They're designed to work with um, 20 mil holes in most MFT worktops, so they'll suit most of the um, standard MFT worktops that are out there. And they're also unusual in the fact that they're stainless steel, but they're still magnetic, and it's quite unusual to get stainless steel that remains magnetic, but these ones are, and I'll show you what that's for in a minute too. So without further ado, let's have a close up of these. Okay, so here's a quick look at what you get in the pack. Now, you can get these as a set or you can buy them as a pair. This is the set and they come with two larger ones, two smaller ones. The larger ones are 98 millimeters in length. The smaller ones are 67 millimeters in length. And you also get four of the M8 threaded knobs for locking them to the table, which I'll show you now in a second. They're also made from magnetic stainless steel, like I've said, and they are beautifully machined. That's the very first thing you'll notice about these is just how nicely machined they are. Nice little chamfers on the end of them. Now it's a 25 millimeter uh, main shaft and a 20 millimeter top and bottom, although one side is 100 of a millimeter narrower than the other side. So the top side is uh, slightly narrower than the bottom, so the bottom is a perfect fit for your MFT table. And it's quite a snug fit indeed, and the, the top then is just slots in like that. So like I said, it's a hundred of a millimeter uh, narrower. And the reason for that is to allow expansion and contraction in your MFT table. So if you have um, a workshop like mine where you have higher moisture levels in the winter, things tend to expand. And this is really well thought out. So either end you can be using any time of the year. So if, you're, if your MFT top swells a little bit, you have one side, like I said, a hundredth of a millimeter narrower than this side, and it just sits in there nicely. And this one is a really snug fit. So that's a nice little thought, uh, a nice little design feature, I think. Now, let me show you these in operation, and uh, yeah, see what you think of them. Okay, so there's a quick look at the fit. You can see just how nice and snug that sits in there. No wiggle room whatsoever. And you have these holes in them, like I said already, for that's for a screwdriver or a bar. You can put that in there if they ever get stuck. They can get quite tight at times. You can just give them a twist out and it makes it easy for them to be pulled back out. So they really thought about this, which is what I really like. And again, with the top and the bottom being different dimensions, it allows for the expansion and contraction of your top, which is quite nice. Now another feature I quite like with these is the fact that you can lock them to your top. So once you get them in, like I said, they're a good precise fit, but you have an extra added bonus of being able to twist in your MA thread, which really locks these down, stops any vibration, and stops any movement. So it allows you to be extremely accurate. And once that's in there, now that's locked to the top. So I do most of my cutting um, right here in my sacrificial strip, so I can lock these two down, put my track up against them, and I'm good to go. I know I have no wiggle and no vibration, which is quite nice indeed. Okay, so now that all my dogs are in, they're locked down and they are rock solid. I could literally pick up my whole MFT top by grabbing one of these now. There is absolutely no wiggle room in that. It doesn't budge, there's no um, flex, there's no nothing. It just locks down onto the top and that's a solid connection now for your track, which is really nice. Now, let's have a look at the magnetic function because there's also a set of magnets that Souter Shop sell that would fit into the T-slot in your Festool or Makita rail. And, uh, these are quite powerful magnets indeed, so let's have a look at them. Okay, so here's one end of our Festool rail and the magnet is in place. Now, Souter Shop sell this as a set, so you get two magnets and you get the T-slot nuts to hold it in. Now, these are extremely powerful magnets and uh, all over the box there's warning stickers uh, to be very, very careful. These do not 
get these magnets close together. I have already made that mistake. I wasn't careful. I had one magnet in my hand. The other magnet was about six inches away on the table and it jumped from the table to this magnet, caught my finger, pinched my finger, and I was a bloody mess uh, after that. So, like I say, be very, very careful. I wasn't careful with these guys. Respect these magnets. They are extremely strong. So they just slot in there like that. You take your T-nut then, put that in behind it. It's a little sprung T-nut. Lock it down with the grub screw. It's an Allen uh, key grub screw and you're good to go. And these will now lock against the stainless steel dogs and keep this track locked in place. Let me show you that now. Okay, some of the magnets are in both ends of the Festool track. I have the little T-nuts tightened down and my dogs are locked in place. My cut piece is there. So all I gotta do now is catch my track and drop it in and that locks onto the dogs, which is a really nice feature. Now 90% of the cuts that you will do on your MFT table are at 90 degrees, just like this, these type of cuts. So you could leave that set up there and like 90% of my cuts are right in my sacrificial strip. So this is where I do 90% of the work of my MFT table. So have that set up right there like that. We're gonna just grab my track, come in, and now it's locked in place. And these magnets are pretty powerful, so it's a really nice setup. Let me give you a close up and I'll show you how powerful these magnets are. Okay, so you can see the magnet in place, like I've showed you already. It's up against the dog now, and it really just locks onto that dog, and it's a solid lock up indeed. Now, bear in mind that there's grips, rubber strips to grip the material on the end of this track. You can see it has no problem pulling that track back in towards that dog. Like I said, they're pretty powerful magnets, and when they come together, they are extremely strong. So like I said, don't do what I do. Don't hold one magnet in your hand and have the other table, or the other magnet next to it on the table, because it will jump to meet it, and you will have a really bad time, just like I did. So there you go. Okay, so just one little negative about the larger dogs is that they will hit the motor, so they're quite tall. So if you're cutting narrow material, anything under, I suppose, three quarters of an inch, you will catch that motor. But if you're cutting heavier material or thicker material, then it's nice to have the large dogs. So just set them up so that your large dogs aren't in the way of your follow through for your cut. So small dog right here, won't hit the motor, no issue. Larger dog in the back or use them. Uh, clear of your track system, but they're nice to have when you're cutting heavier material. So that's just one thing I should point out. Okay guys, so you can see they're a nice little addition to the MFT table. They have some nice cool features and the quick setup and the locking of the dogs is quite nice. So everything is nice and accurate. So with everything now I have set up on my MFT table from my Quick Connect Dust to my Quick Connect Power to my wireless uh, dust control system, it makes everything so nice and fast. So I'm gonna just take my piece, set it up right there, Catch my track, snap it on, we're now ready to go. So it's just a case of quick couple power, quick couple dust. I'm ready to go. Just like that. So there we go, and that's just a quick look at the bench dogs from Souther Shops. Hopefully you've enjoyed that one, and hopefully you've made it this far in the video, because if you have made it this far in the video, I'm actually gonna give some of these away. So Andy at Souther Shops sent me on these, and he also sent me on a set to give away, seeing that I hit 40,000 subscribers, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, a little celebratory giveaway. So I'm filming this, um, it's mid-April uh, 2021, so if you guys are watching this a year from now, this competition is probably over, but for everybody else, just like the um, clamps giveaway, all you have to do is comment below that I need bench dogs. So just comment whatever you like and just say at the end of your comment, I need bench dogs and I will get enter you guys into a competition. We'll do a draw a few weeks from now. I'll announce it on one of my workshop vlogs and we get this out to another lucky subscriber. So just a way of me giving back and saying thanks to all you guys. I really appreciate the support guys. I really appreciate all the comments, all the questions, all the feedback, all the lovely emails that I'm getting as well. It's absolutely amazing and fantastic. And as always, a massive thanks to everybody over on Patreon who continue to support the channel, guys. It is really appreciated. Now, 
the magnets that come in the box, big yellow warning sign on them. So very, be very, very careful with these guys. They are pretty powerful magnets. Don't do what I do and really chop off your finger being a, a moron like I was. So uh, yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed that guys. Now, if you have an MFT table and you have either Festool or Makita rails, this is the setup for you. So uh, the magnets won't work in other tracks. So it's for the Festool, it's for the tracks with the T slot in the top. So just remember that when you're entering the competition. So uh, yeah, and they will fit any, um, MFT table with 20 mil holes. So there you go guys, just something to give back to you, something uh, to say thanks, and to everybody who's made it to the end of the video, you guys can now enter the competition. So that's it guys, I'm gonna get out of here now, and uh, I shall see you in the next one, take it easy.